In this tutorial, I'll teach you how to fly a rocket into low Earth orbit. In the last video, I explained how to build a rocket that is capable of reaching orbit, and now we shall fly it. Before we get into it, please like and subscribe. I only have 30 subscribers, so it would help out a lot if you did. The only thing that you will need in this video is the rocket you want to fly. First, I'll explain how orbits work, and then I'll explain how to fly a rocket. This tutorial can easily be adapted for all different kinds of launch systems. In order to explain how an orbit works, we will do a classic thought experiment called Newton's Cannonball. For this experiment, we will pretend that there is no air, or that we are above the atmosphere. We have a cannon on top of a mountain, and we also have the ability to set the cannon's muzzle velocity to whatever we choose. If we fire the cannon at a normal velocity, the cannonball flies forward, and gravity pulls it downward. Eventually, some distance away, the cannonball hits the ground, and we fire it farther and faster, the ground begins to curve away from the ball, but the ball eventually hits the ground anyway. If we fire it fast enough, the ground curves away from the ball at the same rate that gravity pulls it down, so the ball never falls back to the ground. The ball has now reached orbit. Now, if you fire the cannon slightly slower or slightly faster, the ball will still reach orbit. If you fire it slower, the cannonball begins to fly on its trajectory, getting lower and lower, before it gains enough speed and begins to go back up. And then it loses speed and starts to fall down, and the cycle continues. This is an elliptic orbit. A similar thing happens if a ball is fired too fast. It begins to lose momentum as it is flying away from the planet, and then begins to fall back down, gaining speed and eventually rising back up. If you go even faster, you can actually break free of the gravity of the planet and leave it all together. Now, if you were to try to orbit within the atmosphere, air resistance would slow you down and you wouldn't be able to orbit for very long, which means you need to be above the atmosphere, which officially ends at 100 kilometers above Earth. However, most of the time, spacecraft orbit at 200 kilometers above the surface, because many particles of air can still exist above 100 kilometers, cause drag too, so many satellites stay at 200 kilometers just for good measure. Okay, so after all of that information, we can finally fly our rocket into orbit. First, fire your rocket and fly vertically upwards for a few kilometers. Now we are going to start a gravity turn. This is where you slowly turn over on your rocket's side. Since the lower parts of the atmosphere are the thickest, you want to be going mostly vertical so you can fly through them faster. But to reach orbit, you need to be going really fast on your side. So, as the atmosphere gets thinner, you want to slowly turn over on your side. At around 10-15 to 15 kilometers, you should pass through a point known as Max Q. This is where you experience the maximum amount of drag during your entire flight. And you should throttle down your engines during Max Q to reduce stress on the airframe. Note that when Max Q happens depends on your trajectory and the rocket you are flying. Continue flying the rocket, turning it over gradually, and once you are above 100 kilometers, you can deploy your fairings. Now, when your lower stage runs out of fuel, which may have already happened, separate it and deploy your second stage. By this time, you should be flying nearly parallel to the ground. Continue gaining speed until your projected apogee, or highest point, on your trajectory is 200 kilometers. At this point, shut off your engine and simply coast until that point. Once you are at that altitude, restart your engines and keep accelerating until you reach roughly 7.9 kilometers per second, which is the speed you need to be traveling in order to orbit Earth. Stop your engines once you reach 7.9 kilometers per second. Congratulations, you have now reached orbit. Deploy your payload and marvel at the beautiful views. 